Hi, this is Richo, and I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest pasta in the entire world to make. I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite ricotta gnocchi. And it is really, really easy, just like I said. It starts with ricotta cheese. You can get this from your supermarket. 500 grams of ricotta cheese, the fresher the better. And the beauty of buying it like this is you get a little basket as well. Wash it and you can use it in the kitchen. That goes into the bowl. I've also got 150 grams of plain flour, just regular plain flour is fine, and 150 grams of grated parmesan. It's always better if you grate the parmesan yourself. I crack one egg into it, some salt and some pepper, and if you want to get really, really kinky, pop some herbs in it as well. I love plenty of herbs in it, but I haven't done that yet. When you've got all these ingredients, mix them together in a bowl like that. It takes a couple of minutes, and then you get this. This is the dough. Now, if you've made this the first time, it might be a little bit sticky. Just add a little bit more flour to it and dust it all over it, mix it around, and it'll be nice and soft. And when it's good to handle, it's ready to go. Now, once you've got it, cut it into little strips and then roll it with your fingers like this. Now, be careful. Don't use your bricklayer's hands. Use Nonna's hands. You want to be nice and gentle and soft. This is, these are little dumplings, so you want to make them like little dumplings. Now, when you've got them like this, I line a couple of them up, but you can do them one at a time, and I cut them with my little plastic scraper. You can use a knife if you want. You can use a pellet knife. You can use a butter knife, whatever you've got. And if you get really good at it, you can do four at once like that. And it's really quick and easy to do. Now, the trick with this is, of course, if you're going to make ricotta gnocchi, Put the water on first because as you see, it is really fast. You'll have this made before the water's even come to the boil. And then with the plastic scraper, I'll grab some of these and pop them onto the plate. Now my water's boiling behind me and I'll show you how to cook these. They are really, really quick. They are really, really quick. If they do stick together, just pull them apart a little bit and you can always dust them with a little bit more flour like that and they come apart beautifully. I try and make it with as little flour as I can and that way they be so good. and that way they become uh, they stay nice and fluffy like little dumplings. There we go. Once you've got them like that, it's over to the stove here. You can see my water's boiling already. I've got my gas cooked up here. And the thing I love about gas is it's really easy to use. My little buttons here um, heat it up. I will turn it, turn it up and down as much as I want. And another trick, if you want to bring water to the boil quickly, pop the lid onto it. That makes it boil really, really fast. Now you need to make sure you've got plenty of salt in there. I try and make my water as salty as Port Phillip Bay, or the Mediterranean, depends where you come from. Now into the water it goes. You can see, just do this really gently because as you drop it in there, the water pops up, it sort of spits up at you and you don't want to burn yourself. I've got a specious hand so it doesn't bother me. So do this really, really slowly. Once you've got the gnocchi in there, all you need to do is just Gently turn it around with a wooden spoon to make sure it doesn't stick. I've got it on seven, seven out of 10, nice and hot. It'll come up fairly quickly. This will cook really quickly because as soon as it comes to the top, it's ready to go. Now you can see in my pan here, I've got this down really, really low on a little gas cooktop there, really low. I've got some onion and some garlic that are cooked in butter and oil. If you don't know which one to choose, just use both of them. It makes it nice and delicious. And it doesn't really matter what you use. I've got some onion and garlic in there. Chop the onion nice and fine. Chop the garlic nice and fine and cook them nice and slowly in the butter and the olive oil. Then once that was cooked, I threw the asparagus, the peas, the broad beans and the zucchini in there. I use special peas. These peas were grown in Antarctica, so they're rock hard when you get them. You might need to run them under some cold water. Now they've cooked really, really quickly. About a minute or so in there, you want to keep them nice and green. You want to make it nice and tasty. This won't take long at all. I'll turn this up a little bit. Now the trick with this is to take the gnocchi off the top when it's ready. And I just, just gently move it around. If you come in there, you can see it's becoming nice and light. And some of those, will start to float to the top. You can see the little ones are already floating to the top. And as they float to the top, we take them out with this thing. We call this a spider. It's got holes in it. The idea is you can take whatever you've got in here, out of here, and put it into here without getting any water in there. But you can have a little bit of water in there. Just take it off the top like that, and in it goes like that. How easy, quick, and simple is this? In about 30 seconds or so, or maybe just a minute, uh, all of this gnocchi will be cooked. And as you've seen, it hasn't taken very long at all. In fact, the kids can call you when they're on their way home from school. You can have the water on, make this nice and fresh, and this will be ready in no time. And as you can see, they're starting to come up really, really quickly. Some people, when they cook gnocchi, like it to come up to the boil before, before they take the gnocchi out of it. Me, 
I just wait till they start to the float to the top and that's enough for me. You can see they're holding together. Now, as I said before, if you wanted to, you could put some herbs in your gnocchi and it will make it nice and tasty and look nice and green, but it doesn't really matter. Now, this is a, this is a vegetarian dish, so all your vegetarian friends will love this. And I think during these times, we should be eating a lot more healthy stuff. Although the amount of butter we put in, I put in there is, uh, well, it's Australian butter, so Australian butter is nice and healthy. Now, people, if you are worried about the cholesterol that is in butter or cheese, if you come closely, you'll be able to see all the fat and cholesterol rising into the atmosphere and it will help to repair the ozone layer. So this is a nice, healthy dish. All those little bits of gnocchi come out of there. Make sure I get the last little ones come out of there. One straggler over there. At this stage here, I put some salt in there because we want it to taste nice. Some parsley, I use some uh, flat leaf parsley, but plenty of herbs in there. More herbs, the better. A good twist of pepper to make it even more delicious. And then all I need to do is toss it around here like this. I would suggest if you're doing this at home, maybe a wooden spoon or a spatula. It looks nice and healthy and it smells even better. Now this is a non-stick pan, so another tip is if you want to put something in there, use a spatula like this to grab it all out and that way you won't scratch your beautiful non-stick pan. That looks fantastic, nice and healthy. With gas, make sure you cook, turn it off, push the little button, that's off there like that. And then some parmesan cheese on top to make it even more delicious and a fork as well. And I want to show you what this is like. A nice little fluffy dumpling with some vegetables on there. That tastes a hell of a lot better than it looks. Gnocchi, ricotta gnocchi, cooked in a few minutes. How easy is that?